I'm going to give you a hot scripture. Are you getting ready? You say, well, will it warm my heart? Yes, but it'll also warm your behavior. This is a wonderful scripture. Ephesians 5, 1 through 2 says, Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children. So I'm his beloved. I imitate him because I'm his beloved. Walk in love just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us as an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. You know, sometimes you have relatives or you have people you work with that it's hard to walk in love. You know, you'd like to slap them sideways. You get weary of them. But he is saying, walk in love. And not in your ability, but in Christ's ability. Christ did it, and he lives in you, so he can live in you through this. So many years ago, we had a woman who came to our church that just caused a bucket of problems, and she moved away. I thought, thank God we're rid of her. <laughs> and so if she came to my mind, which she did on occasion, I would say, well, I forgive her. And so I did that. I don't know, maybe 20, 30 times I forgive her. Then after a year or so, she came back and she asked me for lunch. I want to take you to lunch. She said, I want you to forgive me for the things I did in the church. And I'm going to tell you this, I couldn't remember what she did. Because in forgiving her and saying it daily, I don't know, 20, 30 days, I had forgotten to forgive is also to forget. And I went to lunch with her. I said, I'll take the free lunch, but you don't have to repent of what you said or did. I'm cool. So I'm just telling you, this works, but it works by practice. You have to practice the word. You say, well, I don't feel like it. I'm not talking about your feelings. I'm talking about your obedience. I'm not talking about my feelings in some things. I'm talking about obedience, and obedience pleases God. And I notice when I obey, and I keep obeying, my feelings follow the obedience. Is that good news? That's good news.